This is Dr. Michael Green. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Winona. And for some of you, I'm also your personal doctor. And I'd like to talk to you today about two subjects that are really pretty separate, but can also be somewhat related. And that is compounding medications, as well as testing for hormones. The idea of a compounded medication is that the base medicine, the chemical medication, is compounded into a cream in various strengths. And that cream can then be applied usually uh, to the skin in the inner arm or the inner thigh or the back of the knee. And the medicine gets absorbed through the skin in that manner. In some ways, it's similar to a patch where the medicine also gets absorbed through the skin, but it's really very different than a patch. Patches are made by these big pharmaceutical companies in these giant manufacturing plants, whereas compounding medications are really sort of a craft, almost an art, and the medicines are compounded in the individual compounding pharmacy by the compounding pharmacist. Compounding medications, because they're personalized and done by a specific pharmacist, those medications um, can really be tailored to the individual patient. As opposed to medications that are made by big pharma, they're made in these giant factories with oversight and quality control. But again, you're sort of getting this stamped out generic thing that's just a one size fits all. At Winona, we own our compounding pharmacy. And so we have control over the quality. We have some amazing pharmacists it's really some of the, the smartest people I've ever met. And they do our compounding for us. And we know that we're getting really the cutting edge, top quality, best product. And so in this way, it's, it's a real advantage because we can customize a medication. The medication is made specifically according to our recommendations. And we know that it's being made in an incredibly high quality format by really high quality pharmacists. And so this is a safe way for you to get compounded medications. There are other places that do a great job with compounding medications, but there are also places that don't. And so it's really important to know where you're getting your medications from. So the other thing that goes sort of with compounded medications is this idea of testing your hormone levels to try to get the medications just right. It turns out that testing hormone levels doesn't really work. Uh, and the problem is several. The first is that the tests for hormone levels, some of them aren't very accurate. There are these home tests you can do where you basically spit in a test tube and send that in. And there's also spot blood tests where you just take a drop of blood and send that in. And these peripheral spot blood tests coming from the capillaries don't really give you the same kind of values that is what we call a central draw or a regular blood test. Like when you go to the doctor's office and they draw your blood from your arm, those values are much higher quality than these spot blood values. There's also these urine tests, there's hair sample tests, and all these tests are sort of questionable of what they're really testing. But the other problem with hormone testing, even if the hormone testing is accurate, what is it really testing? And the problem is that the hormone levels vary from day to day, even from hour to hour, and they can vary based on all kinds of things. And so your hormone level at one point in time, even if that number is accurate, doesn't really tell you what's really going on. It tells you what's going on on that second, but it doesn't tell you what may be going on an hour from now or two hours from now or the next day or the next week. And so these hormone tests are really not very helpful at all. And in fact, in my opinion, they're sort of the opposite of helpful because you get these numbers and people love to looking at numbers. And when you see a number on a paper, you're like, oh, that must be real. And it turns out that number is not real and it doesn't really reflect what's going on. And so then bad decisions are made based on these numbers that aren't really useful. And so testing for hormones is not really the right way to do things. Hormones should be dosed based on your symptoms and then change based on your symptoms. You get a picture of you, your symptoms, your history. And from that, we generate a dose that we think is going to work. We give you that medication, see how your body responds, because honestly, every body is a little bit different. And then we adjust that dose based on your response. And that's the right way to do it. And in fact, it's not surprising. That's the way we do most medications. I'm on high blood pressure medicine. Believe me, nobody's testing blood levels of my beta blocker to see how much more beta blocker I need. They're testing my blood pressure, my symptom. How does my symptom respond to the medication they give me? Do I need more medicine? Oh, did it over respond? Do I need less medicine? And that's the way we do hormone replacement therapy. The problem is testing is very lucrative. And so there are these medical spas that particularly that do these compounded medications. And sometimes they do these sort of bizarre compounded medications with all kinds of weird ingredients that aren't really helpful. But on top of that, they're doing these really expensive testings to sort of rack up the bill and make more money off of you, even though it's really not useful. The other problem is that there are these companies that will do home testing, and this has turned into a billion dollar business. And they're advertising like crazy on the internet that you should do all these tests, uh, even though they're not. 
helpful, but somebody's making a lot of money off of them. And so they're certainly going to try and get you to do them. And then there are some people, honestly, some doctors that are just not up on the latest thing, a little bit ignorant. They're trying to do the right thing. And they think, well, maybe these tests will help. And they order tests and they don't really know how to interpret them. And they don't understand that the tests aren't very helpful. So that happens as well. But believe me, testing for hormones is not the way to go. So you do hormones based on symptoms. The compounded creams can work very well if you're getting a high quality product and you know where these creams are coming from. At Winona, we take care of both of those, all of the providers, all the doctors. We specialize in hormone management. We do these compounded creams. We know how to prescribe them. We know how to adjust them. And so you're in safe hands when you get compounded creams at Winona.